Hey guys, so this is another video for um, other teachers out there, and I imagine this could probably work not just in a foreign language classroom or a world language classroom, but for pretty much any other class as well. And uh, I like to play memory in my class sometimes. Um, usually I do it with uh, individual students taking on with one partner, where they get uh, a bunch of little cut up pieces of paper, and then they turn them over on their desk, and then they got to match them, just like your typical memory game. But if you want to do it as a class, just to kind of have like maybe... Uh, the right hand side of the class versus the left hand side of the class or something like that or groups versus other groups. Uh, this actually works okay. It's not the best thing in the world but it, um, it you know, gets the class involved and you get to hear how people are pronouncing things and you get to review numbers as well which is kind of good. So what we do is we kind of put what you see here on the screen, I just throw it up on the projector and then I'll have the students call out two uh, numbers and see if they can get a match. So just for example here Maybe they say ocho, so what I'll do is I'll move the ocho out of the way. I can either move it or I can just uh, delete it if I want to. And then so obviously here I'm looking for the two form of the verb cerrar, which is sierra. So let's check uh, 23, see if it's there. Oh, <laughs> that was actually a total random guess. So two and cerrar goes a sierra, so that'll stay. Let's say that they were wrong. Whoever's doing the computer for you, if it's not you, they can just do the shortcut uh, control Z, which is undo and put those two squares back. So if they weren't a match, let's, let's try and get a non-match here. So we got five pierde, which is the he, she form of the verb perder. So let's try, let's try this one right here. So a and then obviously those don't go together. So you'd say, no, that's not a match. Undo, undo, and put those back. And then you can keep tally of who gets the matches right. And then obviously whoever wins at the end uh, wins with the most tallies. So that's kind of how I do that. If you are interested in having this little Word document that I've created here, um, you can have it. I'll put it in uh, the description of the video. I'll, I'll link you to it and you can take it, download it, and use it if you want to. Um, when editing it, the easiest way to do that probably, uh, say you open this up and you have it in front of you, rather than just start from scratch, what I would do maybe is just, it takes a little bit of time, it's kind of a pain in the butt, but you just grab each box, you know, move it out of the way, move it out of the way, and then when you're done moving it out of the way, just delete all the content in the boxes, fill in your own content, and then put the boxes back over like that and then you have a new one uh, saved for whatever you're learning and again that thing this works for any class really any subject matter that's it hopefully you can find this useful um, good luck